Welcome to another C++ tutorial. In the previous video, I showed you about this press enter to continue function, which I thought was pretty nice, so I'm just going to copy and paste it into this program as well. If you don't understand how this function works or want to know more about it, just refer back to the previous video. Also, in the previous video, I didn't mention that you have to include the limits in your include files here to make some of this stuff work in the function. Okay, so now we're going to talk about pointers and references and how they work and what they actually are. Um, let's create an integer value called a, and we're not going to assign it a value. But that, that variable that we just declared on line 8 has a position in memory. And remember, I think I talked about references, and you can print out where that a is stored by using the ampersand. I'm not going to, I'm not going to run it, but I want to show you what I'm talking about here. So if you print out the ampersand a, it'll actually print to the screen the memory location. Now each compiler and operating system is going to spit out um, different formats for that. It might do a hexadecimal number, it might do a, a decimal number. It all depends on your system and your compiler. Okay, so without printing that out, let's go back now. Now let's say that I want to store a memory address as my actual variable. What I would do is I would call it something, I would do a um, integer and then I would put this little star and that's a variable that holds a memory address. The variable name is called APTR which it's a naming convention that you probably should practice. You can name it whatever you want but if I know I'm going to point this memory address at the variable A wherever this is stored it would help me program later down the road if I knew that this was the pointer to A's memory address. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm, I'm going to call it this on purpose. So integer pointer A PTR or A pointer right now is not, is not pointing to anything, but I'm going to assign it to the location of this A. Now this is very important for later down the road in all your C++ programs, so definitely learn how to use pointers and what they are. So follow along here. So now let's assign a equals some value, um, say 23. And now let's let's set our pointer. And we, when we're going to use this variable called a pointer, we don't need that star anymore. A P T R equals the memory address of a. So it specifically stores integer memory addresses. Now if you had a double, you'd have to have a double pointer. If you had a string, you'd have to have a string pointer or whatnot. Okay, so now let's print out some values and see see where what everything is doing internally. So let's see out the uh, the address of a. And to print out the address, we use the ampersand. Let's do the value of a pointer is a PTR. Now, without running it, I'm going to tell you what, what, what's going to happen here. A pointer is a variable now that holds a memory address. So when we print it out, I'll, I'll explain more. Throughout the standard. Let's just do the value of actual A. And now let's print out the actual A pointer with the star on there. I'll explain that here in a minute too. Okay, so let's let's run this by hitting F12. It'll rebuild it, and compile it, and then F5. Then let's explain what what we're seeing here. I'm not sure how well you can see this on the uh, YouTube channel, but at the very top line, the address of A is mine. Yours is going to be different. It's going to show some sort of number there, hexadecimal or whatnot. It's really not important what it's called because we're gonna 
we're going to use the variable that that holds it more than anything. So zero by zero x two three fe thirty four. The value of a pointer is the same exact thing because a pointer is pointing to that memory address, and that memory address is stored in the a pointer var variable. Now it says the value of a is twenty three. That's true as well. Now look at uh, the next line, the third line, the value of, and then you have the star there, a pointer is 23. What that's called is called dereferencing. It's a uh, indirection operator or dereferencing operator. So when you use that star, it doesn't print out the memory address. It prints out the value that's in the memory address that's stored. So in the variable called a pointer is a memory address. When you dereference a pointer by using a star, it will seek out where that memory address is and look at the value that's stored there and print out that value. And that's a very important concept to understand. If you don't quite grasp this, play around with them a little bit because we're going to use these in functions in the next video.